What is up guys, Mac Speed coming at ya. Great episode today, finally comparing the 30 caliber Cattleman Slugs in their factory configuration versus the powder coated Max Nukes configuration, guys. This episode's gonna take a lot of logistics setup and breakdown as far as multiple ammunitions at multiple distances. So I do wanna go ahead and get right into it with the very first group baselining the accuracy with skirted pellets. JSB Hades 30 caliber are currently loaded up and we'll go ahead and produce a group for you guys so you can see that the rifle itself is sighted in. After we go ahead and verify our sight in we're going to go ahead and jump right into the coated and uncoated varieties of the cattleman slugs in the 30 caliber variety we received in that test pack a few months ago without wasting any time let's go ahead and get right down range with this jsb hades on the far left target love it Really love it. Supremely love it. I'm not even going to waste my air charge. I'm going to remove the magazine, clear the breach, and move on to slugs. Beautiful. All right, guys, now the two offerings that fit in the magazine from the Cattleman offerings are going to be the 48 grain and the 54 grain flat base hollow point slug. As you can see, we've powder coated about half of each of these offerings, and I think that the best thing to do is go ahead and get them comparatively grouped at the 25 yard distance, guys. Let's get them loaded up and get right into this. I'm going to go ahead and load up five of these uncoated 48 grains. Fit nice. And then directly on the other side of this magazine, we're gonna go ahead and put these gorgeous Max Nukes powder coated variety. Five rounds once again. All set up with our powder coated and our unpowder coated five round magazines. Let's go ahead and get into it on the center target and see exactly how we do with first the uncoated variety. Cycle nice. Uncoated slugs, 48 grain, flat base, fire. That slapped with authority. Well, we're hitting all around it, but we're not hitting the target. Good God. Flipping the magazine directly around and moving directly into the powder coated variety on the final right hand side target here. Apples to apples, 25 yards, powder coated slugs, for sure a tighter grouping than the non powder coated slugs. Let's replace those pasters at a cost of a buck a piece, get the next 54 grain sets loaded up and see what we can do. Yeah, it's not even close. This is all over the place, almost random. At least this has a, a direction it likes to go in, you know? All right, guys, paster has changed out. Five 54 grain powder coated variety, five 54 grain uncoated. Let's get into it. Uh, 
uncoated first, same as always. Left hand side target. Way off to the left. Rando. Okay. Okay. Man, when those when those uh, middle two shots kind of grouped together, I had a little bit of hope in it, but but it's, it's just not a group at 25 yards. Not when comparatively those Hades are just so tight. Powder coated variety, 54 grain. Cattleman slugs. Fuck! Damn, I can't believe that. I could have done more on that group fundamentally as far as my skill set is concerned, but what a difference. 50, 54 grain rounds in their powder coated variety absolutely crushed the uncoated variety. One of two things is being pointed to here. A, the increase in diameter is actually gripping the rifling better, making a more nominal seal in the barrel and giving you better accuracy downrange. Two, the sparkly shine of powder coat is making the rounds feel better about themselves, and when you feel better about yourself, you perform at a higher level. I don't know what it is, I don't know what it is, but we're seeing good results here with the powder coated stuff. I think that the only thing that we can do at this point is go ahead and shift it out to 50 yards with the 54 grain powder coated rounds in one magazine and the 48 powder coated rounds in the other. I think that that's going to be the best way to go ahead and get a great comparative off the cattleman slugs that actually fit in the Blitz magazine. Guys, let's get right into it. All right, guys, let's get into it first with these 48 grain slugs. Just not as impressive as I would as I had hoped for from the cattleman slugs, guys. Let's get into it with the 54 grain variety. Honestly, none of those groups are very uh, impressive to me. Let's go ahead and load up some Hades and see if we can't clip that bottle at the 60 yard mark. All right guys, something reliably accurate, the JSB Hades. I think the sight ends just a little bit to the left because I, I saw it consistently dirt clawed on the left side there and then finally connected the 60 yard mark guys 
All right, gentlemen, well, I hope you've really enjoyed this comparative look at the 54 grain versus 48 grain cattleman slugs in both coated and uncoated varieties. Neither one of these slugs seem to really work in either configuration that we tested them in today, but the JSB Hades, however, definitely performed at every distance that we tested them at. I think it's gonna be a great place to end today's video, but if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more with that notifications button so that you can stay current on the videos as well as when new videos come out. If you really like this video, make sure you share it so somebody else can see it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.